Why did the SDA Church change their name from Seventh-day Adventist to just plain Adventist recently? Well, it's because those running the SDA Church know Sunday laws are coming very soon, which will make it illegal to keep God's law. Therefore, they dropped the seventh day from their name in many ministerial areas to stay in business. And yes, this also proves Seventh-day Adventist President Ted Wilson fulfilled prophecy with his peace and safety message, claiming on camera that there was nothing about Sunday laws in the pipeline, as I exposed in this video seven years ago, and again in this video five years ago. This could have only happened after Rome took control of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, which we now know they actually did long ago, as I proved in this video five years ago. And this is also why the Seventh-day Adventist leaders in the church opened dozens of Sunday-keeping churches recently. They know if they continue to obey God openly, as is their duty, and keep his law, specifically the Seventh-day Sabbath, which is the main target of Rome's mark, they're going to be out of business. And since all Seventh-day Adventist leaders and pastors worship money more than the Lord, which they have confirmed in their binding agreements, made with the second beast of Revelation in their 466 individual 501c3 contracts, which is causing them to create an image to the beast that they now obey. The 501c3 contract that they made with the second beast is such an easy prophetic fulfillment to see that this proves the Seventh-day Adventist leaders can no longer understand prophecy, for the only way to understand prophecy is to obey the God that wrote it. Their apostate hearts caused them to have no choice but to change their name and open Sunday-keeping churches so as to keep the money flowing into their pockets when the mark is in force, as well as bow in obedience to the man of sin in Rome. The timing of their name change coincides with nearly every nation on earth changing their calendars to make Sunday appear as the seventh day. Out of 195 countries, 171 of them have already done this. See this growing list when you get time. And yes, for those wondering, I have many pages on my main site confirming Sunday laws are in fact the mark of the beast, and I know many SDAs know all about this prophetic fact as well. But what most SDAs are not aware of is that Sister White did say the church leaders would change the name of the church so as to secure success to their institutions. But because the SDA leaders also edited her books and censored many of her statements regarding current events in all their sermons, most SDAs sitting in the pews are unaware of any of this. It is for them I share the following quotes. Thank you for watching. God bless.